Oh, hey everyone, and welcome. Uh, uh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain, Helian, tonight, along with. Who's Matrakir at your service? And welcome back to Volheim, our fourth stream of this. And uh, yeah, I have I haven't done too much work, honestly. It wasn't too much. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, worked on the storage a bit. I think I managed to glitch out the smelter for a while. Um, and yeah, I got ambushed by a wraith just before there. That was the fighting that was audible. <laughs> okay. Uh, got a chain from it. Got a trophy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, last time we... Well... We went out exploring, we bumbled around a bit, a bunch, and, uh, yeah, eventually we, well, we managed to get back after finding the location of an egg, putting down a portal over there to an island that isn't too useful to us at the moment, since the mountain is too small to have any silver in it, according to Rakir. Uh, then we found an extension of the main island here that I'd completely forgotten about, which has a lot of planes on it. We went all the way up north with the boat, and we were planning to cross to another island here, uh, but yeah, <laughs> we were getting close on time, so we just bolt we just parked it there and bolted across to get back home with the metals that we had, which we have been smelting, and the gear is just head banging. And yeah, <laughs> managed to smelt some of them. We could actually make that... Uh, yeah, we have four iron now. So we could make the stone cutter. Oh yeah, so if we want, we can upgrade the walls around here to stone. Yep. But we're going... We still need to find a better place uh, to... Yeah, first. And yeah, so we... I, I wrote us uh, save the stone the stone cutters for the better location. But we I'll can make, make a separate. Quick, so we at yeah. least don't use up the materials for something else. A uh, good idea. But yeah. In the new base, we're probably going to do so we have a house for living and cooking and a separate house for as a workshop. Yeah, we can also make the sharpening stone on this quick, which is needed for another upgrade for the forge. Uh, which one specifically? Let's see... The grinding wheel, yeah. yeah okay, just a bit more... I just realized... A bunch more wood. It, with the stone cutter, we can make a... We can make a half stone here. Oh yeah, we can also do that quickly then. Uh, let me do this. Which will give us more, a little bit more comfort. So we... We grab some stone. There we go. Repair level three or bench level three. Yeah, I'm gonna have to temporarily break some things and do some little, I guess you could call it voodoo magic. Ow. Okay, whilst you're busy with that, I'll put away the rest of this little stuff here. Some ancient bar. There we go. And now I will do... Actually... There we go. Just one torch, just in case. Uh, that doesn't go there. That doesn't go there either. Okay. There, there, there. We made some queen jam for some good, you know, long-lasting her stamina foods. And let's see, where did I put the resin? I think it was over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have more than plenty of that. Uh, other things that happened, nothing too much. I killed another troll whilst it was mining, or attempting to mine at least, and we got raided, or more, I got raided, by a bunch of Grey Dwarves, so we got some more uh, ancient seeds which we need to summon up the... which we need to summon the Elder, which I... Th we had only one before, so we should... I think you need two. So, yeah, you should be plenty good on that. Might as well do this as well. And yeah, now we have 11 comfort instead of 10. Yeah, that will give us at least one more minute, which will be very handy. It's small improvements, but improvements all the same. 
Okay. Uh, plan of attack for now is to get back to the boat, see about getting across the ocean. Hopefully without needing to cross without any... Okay, this is just cool. This, the, the shadow works in this game. It, the graphics are simple, but very nice. Oh yeah. And you know what I say to the plan? Hmm? Uh, let's see. I need to turn myself correctly here. Okay, I did, I did not notice that I have 120 HP. Yeah, when I got ambushed by that wraith, I just started downing food. <laughs> I didn't notice how much that gave. Okay. Yeah, there no... Oh, um, you left no, the door he, open. He saw himself out. Well, <laughs> I guess they realized... They were, uh, they were intruding. We built on a table quite good. <laughs> it's almost camouflaged. But yeah. Uh, new day started. Let's see. I've got some wood with me for shelter. All of my gear is repaired. Oh, except for the cake. I've got way too much stone with me. Yeah, you, the box is full, so just put those down in the pile if you would like. Yeah, I only need five stone. Again, for, for if I need to make a campfire. Grab some of this before it fills up. Since the, 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 the beehives can only hold four at a time. Also, I was wrong last time. I, sa I said that Queen's Gem gives 40 health and stamina. No, it's 14 yeah, health and 40 stamina. Yeah. It's still good, especially early on. Though we're gonna need better food for we're already out of our turnip stew. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we probably should have. Oh, I, I just realized. I don't have enough time, anyways, to build a bridge here. Yeah, the, I'm sure we will even be able to make a good bridge over here to begin with. Yeah, it, it would, it would probably be just stairs going down, a bridge, and then stairs going up. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can climb the wall. We should be able to level up speed from this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, jump. I kind of want to show, but, but I guess when you level up the young, you'll spend less stamina on it. Probably. And maybe young further. The same for run. Yeah, for better running you get, you can be able to... You drain less stamina, and you're able to run faster. Uh, we've got another novice uh, rock climber after us. Okay. Yeah, this is so much easier once you've got some long lasting stamina. Okay. Uh, still got the flint heads on me. On their cave, not the caves, the crypts. Okay. Now, with luck, the boat should still be there. There shouldn't be any mobs loaded in there. Yet. <clears throat> you know the fellow mountain climber we had with us? Yeah. I sport and kicked him into the river. <laughs> this is Valheim. Yeah, I don't know. That was a glitch that he flew so far or what? Uh, could... <laughs> could be that you dealt enough damage to kill it. Also, I'm yeah, yes, I didn't see him explode, really. I just saw him... Yeet. Dandelions, they will be useful for brewing later. We should probably try to set one of those up soon enough. Uh, what, uh, set actually up, what again? Uh, fermenter. Actually, we could oh, make yeah, one. We... But, oh, yeah, well, we're gonna we need those. Objective. Okay, here's some uh, Yeah, that's rooms. probably also the reason why I say when I when we meet this on a new house, this living house will be sleeping and cooking. Cooking will, in the end, take up quite a lot of space. Yeah, and the crafting stuff as well. Alright. Okay, the wind isn't good at the moment, but hopefully by the time that we get there, it'll have turned to a, a more favorable direction. Otherwise, we'll, we can just spend the time there 
uh, cutting down the uh, trees for an outpost on the other. Oh, I, for I just realized we didn't bring anything for a portal. For a love of. But yeah, I agree. We could do that. And also, we need better uh, arrows since. Yeah, fire arrows might be a good idea. Yeah. Um, we can probably make some from copper or bronze as well. We should yeah, be a so, bit sparing with that still, but... Yeah, the, at least... Uh, mm, with copper extremely common, luckily enough, but... Tin is the more tricky one there. Yeah, since that spawns in smaller deposits. Yeah. This is a burial site. Like, the, the only metal arrows I would uh, make would probably be uh, black metal arrows. But that's because they drop, for, the black metal drops some foolings, the goblins. Yeah. So they just... are basically an infinite amount of metal, in a way. A renewable source of metal. Yeah. Okay. Need to charge up here. Oh, yes. Bloody heck. This is, this is a trick, you know, with this uh, barrel. Like, last time I did this, I had turnip stew. I had so much stamina, I could do this easily. Yeah, not so much now. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Just to keep track of where these bloody things are growing all the time. Since otherwise we'll just have to be looking all over the place. Completely implode a boar skull. And okay, a little tree is growing next to the gate here. Okay. Next to the gate. On tagging this one. And oh. then we need. Fine woods, 20. There. We need great dwarf eyes, 10. There. And then two certain cores. Got the main correct this time. There. Let's double check. Yep, one portal to be made. Okay, I'll name this one. Must have hit the space. Yeah, yeah. Tab. I'll name the one, this one Elder. Um, uh, let's see. for that. Feathers. I'll put some feathers. There. What? Oh, we not upgraded this bench yet. There. there we go. Uh, yeah, we haven't put anything next to this one. Yeah, I just need some flint. Do we have any flint somewhere? Yeah, we have a bit next in the stone. There's a stone in there. Rack. Yeah, the, another reason for us to oh, start yeah. collecting flint again. Uh, I found um, it, I found it. If Can we I break the stone it? cutter, we could have a tool shelf. But we need iron for that. All yeah. them things. Oh, there and, we go. Yeah, these things just need to be in range and not too close to each other to work. Uh, just because of that, no, I have uh, not enough wood for arrows. Okay, Ooh, I have some logs. Five with me. Yep. Oh, that also works, yeah. Okay, bees are happy. There we, we go. Should, we should probably have a complete storage area next to the crafting uh, place that we'll make. Let's store all these rocks and, and such. Yeah, we should have a storage house for rocks and wood and such, but the workshop should also have some storage for, well, anything that need its use for crafting, really. Okay, I think we'll have plenty of dandelions for the moment. There you go. Now I got I got some arrows. Uh, I will put the flint here. Okay, we'll put the feathers. Since 
some of the things need uncooked foods, like the... Not that. We put away the regular wood arrows, since... Yeah. Fire arrows for the boss, easily reason. Easily re... What's with my English today? Okay. No need for repairs. Okay. I'm heading up again. Alright, I'm coming with. Um, hmm. uh, did I say in the previous stream of today about the thing with uh, LeChuck's voice actor? Yeah, you said you were to do, say that today. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was going to say it during Serial Cleaners, but then, well, of course, I got distracted. Uh, not that I'm blaming others for that, I just, well, <laughs> I'm just scatterbrained. Uh, but yeah, during the during our streams of Return to Monkey Island, I repeatedly said that LeChuck's voice actor had died before the game was finished, or before work was started. Uh, yeah, that I had completely wrong, so fuck off neck. Uh, apparently he was still alive. Emphasis on was. Uh, yeah, he was just too sick to work. So, yeah. I was uh, a bit early with declaring him dead. Okay, I'll need to refresh the food soon because it's already starting to drain away. Yeah, I just ate myself here. I just ate some food, not ate myself. <laughs> You're not supposed to be the, uh, copying that snake. Ouroboros, I believe it was. Uh, that's correct. All right. And <clears throat> you forgotten something, by the way. Uh, what then? Me. Okay. Oop, more berries. Always useful as a backup or for just making jam and other things. Yeah, they 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 actually use for making healing potions as such. Yep, that as well. A little cluster of dandelions. Yeah, it is it is a good idea to keep good track of where respawning resources are. Yeah, Otherwise, later on, yeah. The, early on you need to do, to, yeah, tag it everywhere, but later on you might not need to do it as much, at least for, like, cloudberries or extreme, like, raspberries and blueberries you need to for the, you can mix them up with other berry, uh, bushes by mistake, but cloudberries, the, you win spot cloudberries is so easy, you find them everywhere. A little snack for along the way. And an oak. Okay. Uh, yep. Railing. Yep. <laughs> Completely whipped that. I was waiting for it to approach so I could kick it, but it stopped right out of reach. Come here, you little shit. Miss again. Okay. If you're just going to be like that, there. Okay, moving on. Yes, look! His wrist flew at you! It looked like he... At his act of trying to do a death vengeance, try to throw his goo at you. With my last... Uh, something something... <laughs> I spit at you. But now the, the line was from Hell's Hearth. Or something like that. Uh, something like that, yeah. The only reason I know that is because Khan said it in Star Trek 2. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shatner is still around and kicking as well. Which, let's see. I think Star Trek originally came out in the 60s. Uh, that's 60 years ago. So dude is, yeah, 
pushing 80 or something. This is impressive, I say. Now, what? Oh, troll. Yeah, I was just to say, and... Some rupees. Okay. Let me get another jam, get another sausage, and the let's take us. on this troll. Aim for his head! <laughs> that one went over its shoulder. Okay. Oop. Okay. Trolls are reasonably easy once you know how to fight them. Also, let me put this back Decent on. bow. Yeah, bows are the best way to fight them. It's quite a bit that they dropped. However, if you see one star, two star boar early on with just crude bow or fine bow, if your fine bow is fully upgraded, you might have a chance, but a crude bow against one or two star uh, troll, just, just run. Yeah. You may yeah. damage it, but. You probably is so too early on to have enough stamina to handle it practically. Yeah, since they have quite a bit of health. Okay. Yeah, and if they catch up to you, uh, bye bye. Hmm. Still not fully comfortable with the fact that we can't see land from here. Um... I might actually. I think I see something. I just see water. I, mean, I do and not want to lo risk losing all of our material uh, and even the slight chance of losing it all at sea. Because there's no way in hell that we can retrieve it from the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. And uh, if you had some bit of food and better arrows, we might have a chance to kill the damn serpent. Mm -hmm. Got to loose. Also, I learned something curious. Apparently there's a site you can use to check the weather in Valheim several days in advance. Okay. Apparently it's not random. There we go. Okay, um, we'll save. Let's continue Wait. along the coast and see if we can spot an island that is close. I just realized. Sun sets in west, right? Uh, yeah. I think it's setting. Yep. Okay, let's park this thing a little bit better. Over here on this little beach. Yeah. And we cut down some trees, make a little, uh, a, li a little shelter. Oh, you start right away. Okay, just break on the thin a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing ever se really seems to be going our way whenever we're busy. You know, with this, huh? What? Oh, troll, Roll. I see you, yeah. Whiffed it. It is useful that their attacks are so slow, so they're very easy to read, but in exchange, they're, they hit like freaking trucks. It's also, our weak spot now, which is the head. Oh, come on, how did it not hurt the Great Dwarf? <laughs> it ran right between its freaking legs. I just gave it a nipple piercing. Also, hello, you. Miss. Okay, anything useful? Probably won't get much out of troll hides, but it might be useful for, yeah, getting from place uh, from place one A to B or something quickly for exploring or something. Okay. Mm, too close to 
the water, I think. I think we only really need just a few walls, fire, and a bed nearby. More of just, uh, basically just a roof, really. So we can use a tri basically, yeah, a triangle. So we don't even need this. Except for the campfire. Let's try this. We can make a much cheaper thing than this, Hillian. No. Yeah, uh, no. A bit hard now to since you build it here. I was just thinking that we just make it basically a tent like oh, this. Like, that. like the so, little buildings that we've been finding here and there. Will it actually fit under there? Oh, that way it will, yeah. Okay. Put it more in the middle so we don't start going through the, the ceiling. There we go. The bed is too exposed. Yeah, it's near back wall. I think this is going about the same cost as what I put up now. Oh, there we go. Uh, just need the fire. Yeah, we can put the fire in front of the house in this case. Uh, let's see. Two, two, 12, 24, still 48 woods plus the beds, which are 16. So 64 wood for something like this, 74. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just get the fire going. And okay, we're, we're making this a bit of a pit stop then. Uh, you never know. There we go. May not rain. Oh, there's a log in the water? A few even, what the heck? Wrong button. I was just saying, what did I press? And then I said, wait, not, I'm not using bone mass. Nope. Oh. Great dwarfs. Uh, I, I'm guessing the troll hit a few trees along the way. I thought he did hit something. Whoa, that. A bunch of them. Okay. Plenty of materials for the portal now. There we go, just get rid of that. And the debuff. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I just saw the boat get jumped up. Okay, we can still get out. Okay. Yep, uh, looks nice, doesn't it? Yep, and <laughs> right now it starts to rain. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can leave this here. Oh, come on, did the wind just turn? It had sailable wind and just turned away. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure... Yep, storm. We are not... <laughs> we are not taking off in a storm. Wait! I caught a fish! Uh, 
Okay, I'm just going to turn it more inland here, just in case. I mark this as camp. Says that is what it is. That that yeah, that I would call that a camp. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, not too bad. Yeah, these waves are going real high, so I'm I'm just bit. Yeah, I'm I'm beating this thing. So we don't lose the materials. Uh, let me see. Stuff to throw out. Yeah, resin. I can leave one boar scrap behind. Okay, just need to port one of these up to break it. I still land on the side. I see the peak of mountains. Uh, right. So oh, from right. here, from here might be the closest. I, I can see something at the horizon, yeah, but that might not need be mountains. It might be roots from the Yggdrasil. Oh no, that's that's a mountain. That's a mountain. I can tell you. I recognize that easily. Also, I completely forgot that you can't deconstruct the boats, except for the manual way. And yeah, that's how much health a boat has, or this type of boat has. Let's see, I got most of the stuff there, I think. Yeah, I got all of it. Double checking, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, put down the portal here, and then we go work at the base. Might be a good idea. Yeah. At least, at least we put it down by the camp. Just need the workbench built. Easy enough. And then the portal. And it's since the other one doesn't wait up. Oh, you lightning. Okay, it seems that leaving portals untagged doesn't seem to work anymore. But there, mm, no, that yeah, wouldn't. Say that it doesn't work. <laughs> Wait, you mean we almost see the way without a portal back home? Yep. Okay, but maybe I, this green was a warning for us to fix that. Yeah, I'll just name this one P. Portal. Uh, yep. Yeah, like, let that be a warning that proper uh, going without proper preparations is likely to get you killed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been half an hour already, and we still haven't left. Okay. Um, one way we could fix that. Let me see. We. If we can find some ruins, or if we can find a dungeon or two, we can get a circling course from there. And gray dwarves will are probably just going to throw themselves at us, and then we can make another. We can get the materials for another portal. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, it's better than running all the way back. Blueberries. No. I hear combat. We still need to make a portal at base, don't we? Yeah, we'll still have to run back another time, but we can do that, well, another... Oh, hello? Another time. There's two nearby here. Huh. Okay, this one we can't just walk into. We need to actually enter, where the rock was just blocking the path. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll just leave the boar meat for the moment. 
Okay. Let's go counter, you know, clockwise this is. I still manage to mess up left and right from time to time. Oh, that's one core. And it's one dead end. And let's see. Some more flint head arrows and coins. And some other materials, feathers and treasure. Dead end. There we go. I fixed the uh, rock blocking the hole. When I see something blocking these dungeons like that, I don't trust it. Hillian? Yeah? This is the moment you start using your shield for practice. Uh, what if we had uh, more time? Well, we have technically all the time in the world, but still. Oh. Not going to guard against a, <laughs> an empty wall, huh? Okay, we need just one more. More coins, more arrows. Okay, the ruby. Okay. This way then. And dead end. Okay, we just need one circling core on the other uh, branch, and then we'll be good. If not, we'll have to go find another one. Okay, here. Ruby's and amber. Dead end. We're seriously only going to find one. Oh, hello. Okay, that's another marker for the Elven, which is even further away than everything else. And two cores. Some more arrows, some more coins. Oh, you missed one. Even more. There we, there we go, five cores. All right, that's a good haul. Okay, as for the Great Dwarf Eyes, yeah, just need to go find and bully some. Wait, is that another burial chamber right next to his one? Yeah, yes, I it that. is. <laughs> I told it's you there was, there was two here. Uh, okay, I didn't hear that bit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't forget to mark these on the map. There we go. Um, no need to enter this one since we already have enough cores. Just need to find five more Grey Dwarfs. At least Grey Dwarf Eyes. Wait, how many Grey Dwarfs do you need? Uh, we need five eyes. I have 15. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then we have plenty. We'll st we are still not going to cross during the Wind's storm good. here. Hmm? Oh, uh, if we are lucky, there might not be a storm in the ocean. If it even is an ocean. Um, but the I'm wind is pointed very... right up. I'm still very hesitant to even try to cross now. Yeah, do I think the storm is about to lighten up. You ten more minutes of storm. But if you look around, it, is, it isn't as dark as it was before. Yeah, I thought I heard a change in the music all of a sudden. Hmm. Yeah, we could just sit here until the <laughs> until it the lightens up. But that wouldn't wait, be much wait, of a wait, 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 wait. Jump off, jump off. Yeah, you, you only had one seat being sheltered. Yep. Now, no seats are being sheltered. <laughs> okay. 
Anyway, something else that I wanted to talk about is for the next few games we'll be streaming once we are done with uh, Commandos 2, which we should still be have a, a good few streams with, due to you know, us being at about 60-70% or so. And, uh, yeah. I had already planned for the next uh, uh, two... Uh, okay. I told you! <laughs> uh, I bloody <laughs> told you! No further comments. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd already planned for the next two uh, series to stream to be Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider, uh, since those were well, very closely related and both adventure uh, style games, uh, action adventure style games actually. Be I'm talking about uh, the two 3D uh, Indiana Jones games, or two of them at least, I'm not talking about the one that was also on the Wii. Uh, but yeah, I. I decided to compact things a bit with that. Originally, I was feel I was planning to start with Indiana Jones, and then start with Tomb Raider with the alternate you know, alternating. But I, uh, yeah, I think I think it'll be more fitting to have it be just a, a compact cluster that doesn't leak out uh, into the next uh, game or next franchise that we'd be streaming as well. So once we are done with Commandos 2, we'll be starting on. Uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. After that, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Then Tomb Raider Legend, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. And that cluster will be finished up by you know, <clears throat> with Tomb Raider Underworld. And now that we're sta I'm standing here, I do not see anything across the water here. I saw a mountain earlier, and we know there's something across the sea there. And I'm gonna sit here, gather some resting. Can you, can you ha take care of Gary and Larry? I'm a bit away from the camp now, and there's a broken ship here. Oh, that's a source <laughs> of fine wood and treasure. Let's see. Oh, the chest, is, the chest isn't even <laughs> completely buried. Oh, that's a troll cave, I think. Yes, that is. Okay. Gotta be careful with those because trolls can just exit from them, I believe. There we go. Got some comfort. And yes, <laughs> still not seeing anything. That's. Is this now the framework or something? Um, yeah, How it, the heck did I get 50 stone here? Okay. <laughs> with the, I guess we've been here so many great dwarfs. Yeah, possibly. Okay. Uh, I'm a bit further along the coast and still not seeing any land across. If if I you know, if we knew just how far the, the distance was, I would be willing to risk it somewhat. We uh, make the, actually, it's more likely to attack us during the night or during thunderstorm. As long as there's no storm, we are unlikely to be attacked. Though the sun is setting. Uh, yeah. Entire frick, an entire day of storm. Um, yeah, see, I say we but... continue sailing around then and see for anywhere that it has closer land. I see, I see this. We sail out a little bit to see if we can pop it out for if we get into the water, we have a we can see further out. Uh, we can try it with... Oh, hello, that's a two-star Great Dwarf. Still take more damage from the hammer. Great Dwarfs take more damage from axe uh, weapons, which deal... 
Uh, as a troll with one. a club this time. Who has not noticed us yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't see it at the moment. He's in the forest. I see his ugly blue ores. Still not seeing. Oh, actually, uh, there I see. Okay, let, how far away can I... Can you I can shoot that far. And miss. That was I a hit. hit, though. Then I miss again. Yeah, trolls with clubs are a lot more dangerous than the ones without, since they have a ton more reach. Also, let me just... There. Trolls can be typically be easily dealt with if you have someone playing lure and okay, I got hurt before that made contact with me. Okay, just server server shenanigans. Yeah, there are Boys. many people playing it again, so. I don't think that should have an effect on a small personal server one to one like this. I guess. For me, I have no stuttering, but you have. Do I see some minor lag now and then? Oh. I was an idiot. I threw out the resin that we needed for the boat. I have a 30 resin on me. Okay, just throw that over then. Uh, which, what do I drop instead? It's just stone. There we go. I keep forgetting that resin is used for that. There, there. But yeah, there. I guess these... Nope. Okay. Okay, I think it was trying to get to... It, it was just hitting at the corner of the building, not the portal. So what was it trying to go for there? The beds? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Can we rest already? Yes, we can. It just fast forward. Yeah, hopefully it's better weather and wind now. As, as long as we can get over there, make a portal point, we should be safe. Okay. Oh, good winds. And also, yeah, we, we should be able to sail away from a serpent. If we be able to just sail straight across right now. Okay. Still not completely comfortable with this, but uh, it'll be better I, than I, just I, running back. As I say, Zillian, I understand you fully. I hope. I always nervous now when I have to do that. But sometimes you are forced to do it. This is kind of annoying for you. Sometimes you have to brave up and do it. Okay. I put some things in storage. It's a rock dead ahead, so let's not go for that. Okay, not too misty, too misty. <coughs> oh, it's always that like that in in the morning. And where are you going? Turning back to ensure safety. Yeah. Just gotta wait a bit for the fog to clear. Oh, it'll be clear when we sail more towards it. I just do not trust an empty horizon at all. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. yeah, that's uh let's get some full speed with the wind. Still 
still not seeing anything, so yeah, we are I'm turning not away. in the ocean yet. We yeah, actually fall from the ocean according to the map. So if you're lucky, we may have a very low shallow sea. And I'm not kidding this. Shallow seas can be very large at times, which basically makes it the safest area to sail through. Maybe, but I'm. It's, I don't still trust it any further than I can throw a fully grown oak tree. I, I don't blame you. I do not blame you. So yeah, just continuing along the shore to look for good crossing points. I see land. I'm not seeing anything. I see land the water. straight ahead, across the water. I think I see roots yeah, in ahead. Oh, no, you, you, look, Unless you have a you, you, larger render rate than I have. Uh, possibly, but I see. I see land. I'm gonna make check the map. Yes, that's not the island we're on. That's a different island. So let's sail there and see if that will lead us uh, to where we want to go. Oh, now and I see mountains. Uh, the sea is calm, so don't uh, panic. But yeah, I'm do just, keep I'm just staying out of, it, out of sheer precaution. It is a low uh, chance that those stupid things can spawn, but I do not want to be caught ni uh, by them at all. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if we can get some winds for. If you sail straight ahead now, we will hit land. I think I see it a bit more to the left. Judging by con it contrasting against the skybox. Yeah, I saw the mountain, then I saw the go along. Yeah, I think you can see it better soon here. Yeah, it, it might be a bit. It, it, it's probably a pretty ironic for a Dutchman and a Swede to be afraid of the ocean. I will not be afraid of this, this game's ocean if you're not for the damn serpent. And yeah, once again the wind is just playing against us. Yeah, I said it's the turn uh, west. Full sail. Just zigzag back and forth. Okay, we're not getting as much speed now, it seems. See, the, the island is not far uh, from us at all. Yeah. But now the wind is against us, like... This is a good wind to see right at the elder. But I would prefer to do that with a longboat. Yeah, which has a lot more health as well and a lot more speed. With that, we could certainly outrun the stupid snakes. Yeah, and you can with this as well. No, there it is. Yeah, probably is if you. This can outrun a serpent. We have done it before. Probably is when the wind betrays you, for you cannot out paddle it. Yeah. The other Especially not with this. is then to, to, to hard turn onto open sea or try to go uh, yeah, to go 180, but then you're saying to the stupid thing. Oh dear. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Turn more west and st say straight ahead. Well, I feel it looks like there should be calm water there. And we should be able to get some wind. Okay, flying Anything fish to the left. Yeah, I see the fish. Uh, do you want me to sail, perhaps? Mm, no, I'm. I get more the feeling that the moment we turn, that the the wind is going to change. You had the same paranoia as me then. 
But okay, you, do you see the land next to me, uh, to the west? Yeah, I, I can see a tree now. Then it means we shall turn fully towards the island, and we should be able to get some wind, hopefully. <clears throat> or would we? It just turned. No, oh, for love of. See? I, I feel like we should have been there if we not been too cowardly. Nah, uh, you call it cowardly, I call it cautious. Yeah, okay, it's too cautious. Oh, that's actually close. Wait, I think that's too... I think that's too shallow. And rock shot for a rock. Okay, let's see if we can row over there carefully. For I don't think... I think that ocean... Uh, yeah, I think we can outrun that serpent from there. Between here. Okay, music suddenly dropped out. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, the music. music. When we were about to hit the, uh, the, the rock, the music just dropped out for a moment. <laughs> okay. As small as an area as that is, I, do, I absolutely do not want to risk losing all of our gear. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, we, we had that, we had that unlocked before. But what, what, where are we on the map? Oh, we are quite. I have something marked on the map here without a, a word. Of, yeah, so that I, I do feel like village. we need to risk this. I think it's a Draugr village up ahead there. I yeah. see you mock with a hammer. Without a name. But I guess we could use the Draugr village as a... Uh, Punching bag. Well, let's we'll think of a little harbor area. I definitely see something to the left up here. Okay, no, that is just a single building. And that's a stone ruin. Okay, why the hell did I mark that then? Uh, Great dwarves. And... Okay, this I, I'm not sure if I've heard this track before. And hello. Yeah. I'm not familiar with this one. Is that an island? Yep. It looks or hmm, it. It might be a separate tiny island. Okay, we can head for Please. that. Actually, the world, the wind has turned again. We might be able to get going now. Yeah, all right, coming over, coming over. Don't forget me, again. Uh, never. Sails away. Let's see. Yeah, this should be this should be good. It won't get us at maximum speeds. But it should get us across. Yeah. <coughs> In relative safety. <laughs> the moment we find crypts in this you know swamp, we're going to make yeah, uh, we're going to make a longboat. Yes, this little yeah, thing is nice and all for going down rivers, but for oceans sailing, uh, it's a it might as well be a coffin. Yeah. And now we, let, now we get to see if this is a shallow ocean, or if, if even an ocean at all. Yeah, we've had this, we've had that stupid snake spawning in just yeah, okay. an absolute sliver of ocean. Yeah, this is a sliver ocean, so there's that. Though that could be good when we, if we want to hunt them. Okay, let's see. And that island, I th I'm gonna mark that. For the fluff of freaking wind. At least we're close enough. Like, it seems absolutely random when it seems to turn it sometimes. Also, what does yeah. this count as? And let's say this. Once we kill Mother, we're gonna use her blessing to easier explore the ocean. Uh, what does she do again? The wind is always with you. Okay. Yeah, that, that'll help a ton. Yeah. 
And I said that I marked that <coughs> on the island for in case that could be a good base location. Yeah, yeah it could and at least be a good. Uh, it would at least be easy to guard if it, it's surrounded by ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Like, sure, we maybe need steel to make walls, maybe, depending on the size, but it is easier to secure. Okay, for, for a moment I thought something was swimming underneath us, but no, that's the shadow of the boat. Oh, yeah! If they ever add an area that is underwater here, uh, yeah, nope. <laughs> nope, yeah, nope, nope, on a no road they... slope. <laughs> No, I don't I think they decided on no underwater content. They have been tempted to do a mini boss on the ocean, but they are not sure how. Due to the issue of either be too easy or too hard. Yeah. So they, like, it is so easy that it's ridiculous, or it's so hard that due to the, you having boats that it's just the risk is ridiculously high. Yeah. So they there. may add it or may not. It would depend if they found a solution. <laughs> Freaking wind with its backstabbing syndrome. Okay. This tower seems a little bit bigger than the most we've seen. Or is that just a big boulder next to it? Well, there's not much of uh, sto uh, light pollution here. There is a big fart cloud around the space, though. I think those are galaxies, and nebulous. Okay, wind turned a bit. This looks like a big black forest island. At least a big black forest coast. There should at least be a mountain further to the south of us. So let's hope there's also there's another tower there, another swamp around here, a sizable one this time. It would be an absolute pain in the ass if we if we keep finding islands with only tiny swamps. Yeah, they have made the uh, crypts harder to find, but again, Missland you can find new sources of iron. Okay. But still, I do know, it seems like wherever you find bone mass, there's bound to be a lot of crypts. <laughs> yeah, because the swamp needs to be big enough to spawn uh, the altar in the first place. Yeah, and also have enough crypts for you to get enough bones to spawn the boss. Yeah, I forgot that you need st uh, bones for it. Yeah, yeah uh, oh, I hear some... Yeah. Here is stone structure. Alright. Skeleton's picking on the light wildlife. Mm. I wonder actually it's about to get sunset. Should we claim that strong structure? Okay. Uh what the heck is that on the stone structure? Hmm. It's only like woodwork. I've never seen wood on those. Uh, when I say wooden stairs, just not wood in that manner. What the heck? Huh? It, it has actually. Yeah, this is new. It has a little ceiling for the stairs. There, keep this thing decently parked. Let's see then. We can port. We can put down the portal. Go back. Sleep. Okay. I think this is a good uh, camp, but I've never seen these with this little roof here. And we've seen this the rest of this. Yeah, I've seen the rest of it, but never this. 
<laughs> it's kind of cozy. Okay. And it, it supplies it. Surprise it a hole. Woods. Okay, yeah, we can Actually, we don't even need to portal, technically. We just need to make a roof and some beds. Uh, got some of the roof done. Here, we send that back some time. Oops. Out skeleton. It must be that there's something nearby. Very possible. And I just realized how to fix this, Helian. But seriously, did you use tiny ones for this? No, no. Found it. It's a burial chamber right here. And again, we have enough as is, especially of bones. Selected two. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, that gives a bit of comfort. I forgot about that actually. Yeah, that we are building just for that little extra comfort. And we can uh, mark this one as well on the map. Our camp stands, yeah. It, well, was a tower, after all. Okay, there's the boats. And the uh, wind betrayed us. Okay. What else is new? It should definitely... I guess we could make a portal and start... Okay, the sliver of its health left. Uh, make a portal, right. drop off the stuff that we don't need. Yeah, just run and fix your mistake. That we have the explore portal back. Yeah. Um, if I run back... Uh, then you could continue exploring here with the boat, if need be. Double, uh, sure. Multitask a bit. I can do that. Okay. Where's the... Where's the fine woods? I had enough earlier. Is it in the... Oh, wait, did I... Never forget... I, mean, I, I don't think I put anything down that needed fine woods. Um, hmm. Okay, then. Did, did I just not bring enough to... I, the boat was already out. I brought 20 along to make the portal. I could put it down earlier. So, what happens to the fine wood? Did you throw out... Uh, did, you need, did you throw out uh, something wrong thing if you when you threw out some things earlier? I don't think so. I threw out mostly stones and such, speaking of. Hmm. Uh, do oaks give fine wood or was it just core wood? Uh, oaks give fine wood, 
Surdos Bursch. Okay, so we can look for a few oaks here. Uh, there's no oaks in the Black Forest. All oh, right. Hmm. But there should be meadows about. Oh, wind turned. Hmm? The wind turned, so we can continue. Oh, I, I need, <laughs> I need health food. Yeah, that's some stuff in a chest, but again, I have marked this on a map. Okay, just pull out. Uh, so much for the deal of trying to uh, find and kill the Elder. Yeah. We should probably say that we are going to kill the Elder once we finally freaking reached its altar. Yeah. Okay, get a bit of speed, turn quicker. Oh, we finally have the wind, but... Fog. Okay, this is some you know, decent speed for once. Okay, that all looks like black forests. And then there we go, sailing music. We might hit some rocks with the fog. I see a runestone ahead. Okay, um, let's get down the sausage for that. We have more than plenty of those. Let's see, I see trees. I thought I saw a gnarly tree. Two the four, uh, missed at least. Swamp. Swamp straight ahead. Yeah, gnarly trees. And it looks like there's a bit of a little gap between it and the rest here. <laughs> it just so we... poured into a freaking swamp. The small swamp on the same island we are on. And... Even a stone structure here. That we could quote unquote salvage. Yep. You just need to politely kick out the the inhabitants of that house. The great wolves. Yeah. For now they're going to slow a bit since we can't really see Oops. Okay, now now the fog is starting to clear. Okay. And of course rain. Yeah, okay. I think this is a sliver of swamp on this side, and the proper swamp is on the other side. Yeah. Uh, I think it's only a sliver over there as well. For the, for oh, yeah. The I bit. saw the black forest there. Oh, so I bloody think heck. glow of something. Certainly spawn. Wait! Oh. A structure! I see a, I see a crypt! I see a crypt! Just next to the water! Uh, uh, north! 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 Yeah, I see it. You see it? I saw it. I oh, wait. I also hear leeches going after us, I think. I just realized we don't have the key! Yep. But we can at least uh. mark this down, and I see land dead ahead. Hmm. Okay, things are a bit... Creatively shaped here. Where? I can see a foundation of something over there as well. Yeah, that's a black forest foundation. Now it is the stone on the I the stonework on the island here. Yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. It looks kind of like the ones you find on in black forest at times. Okay. Yep. Since there, it is since it has great walls in it, and we are tackling a fish. And <laughs> hit and run. And is this an island? It's meadows at least. Meadows and black forest. And 
More land. Yep. More land to our south. <laughs> yep. Oversteered. Boop. <laughs> There might be bush trees here. Yes, there is. An oak. Let's see. I think I see the oak. So let's let's, not this time. let's uh, land and shop. Oh, and it's there's a boar stone. Put that sail down. Yeah, and some deers. Okay, we'll go ahead. Okay, wait, is this another oak or is there multiple? Either way, this one is going down. Another oak on a tiny island nearby. Huh, this kind of looks nice, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. I wonder. Okay. Hmm. What do you say? We we ha we know there's a creep nearby. At yeah. least one. This place is relatively flat. Yeah, we just build a house on top of the hill. Then we can build a garden down here. We'll have to see what else is around, though. Yeah, yeah, good idea. We should. Yeah, one should never rush, but we we definitely shall mark this. Okay, and I have enough for a portal. It's... No sight across the waters here. Okay, yeah, this area we can deforest and flatten out and have a yeah, nice dark forest area and use the meadows for harvest. I, I think it'll be easier if we put a house on stilts instead of trying to flatten out the entire area because that can... Well, we, we saw at the back of the current house how much of an annoyance that can be. Yeah, but here is... Well... Easier since we don't have another mountain to give, we just flattening the mountain instead. So we don't end up having what we have in the other base. Nice. So that basically gets solved thanks to we actually reach the top here. This way is forward, this way is forward. Okay. <laughs> it's tight. I was coughing, but thank you. <laughs> okay. We can at least deposit some stuff over here. And let's see. Yeah, no, not any closer to the elder. Okay, I guess we... this is a small hill. This is easy to flatten down. Okay. So, yeah, I've been marked this as a candidate. Basically, right, island base question mark. Sense. Yeah, we're not decided yet, but yeah, th this this shall be e would be easy to flatten down with the mining pick. Yeah. Okay, just need a bit of wood for a chest. Yep. Oh dear. I kind of I kind of painful that stone can be transported through portals. Yeah. And, otherwise. Oh, yeah, you just realized. The only reason also this is good is the boar stone. Yep. We can uh, we can turn that place into a, a meat farm. Yeah. Yeah, this we can easily... We don't even need walls, I think. 
go. Okay, I've deposited the stuff that I don't need. Just keeping some backup food. Well, travel Wait. food for him. You already traveled to our main base? Or the current no, just, main base? I just, I just put down a chest. We need to get to the main base and get this proper hill. Yeah, okay. Uh, shall we do what I suggested then? That uh, hmm. you take the boat and continue. I go back and uh, yeah. Wait. To rename the portal there. I, I thought you wanted me to explore on foot. <laughs> you can take the boat as well. Uh, I'd rather not do that alone. Okay, so you're going to explore on foot. Uh, take, break the portal down once I'm through. And wait, what? Helian, I already explored this full island. Yeah, getting across. Uh, yeah, use the boat to get back. You know, to the get to the other sides. Um, hmm. Uh, actually, if I go back and re break down the portal at the camp that there is at the moment, uh, now that would leave my inventory full. Um, uh, put, uh, make another chest, put stuff there, then just run home and uh, rename the portal. Yeah, but that will leave the portal at the camp with nothing. Uh, actually, But it's just a camp. Yeah. It, it's better to have a portal connected to the main base. Actually, I, I, I've got an idea. Once I've gone through this thing, I rename it to something else, or Q or something, then I run back, uh, rename the portal there to P, travel through it, grab the stuff, grab your, um, and then I'll have to, well, mm. I will be uh, rename it Explore, and then uh, stop it putting the chest in the camp, we can go back up, uh, or pick up uh, off screen. Uh, something like that, perhaps. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I will rename this to Explore. Or we always need an Explorer portal. Yep. Okay, that's three of those. So we name it now. Explore. Course, there we go. Coins. Troll hide. Fine wood. I'll well grab these as well. What? Okay. What? Why do I have the fine wood? What? Because it's from when? the portal. Uh, oh wait, I had. I just realized I have to. I have to cut down the oak tree. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For the um, for the nth time. Just going to sprint back through the black forest here. Yeah, and I just realized. Wait. Two acorns. Okay. What are you we can grow planting? Yeah. <coughs> I guess we could call this acre. If we decide to settle down here. Copper. There. Okay. Come on. Uh, yeah, if we don't get too much more progress in this stream, I suggest we just go explore a bunch off stream. And yeah, <laughs> try and get some actual stuff done and in preparation for uh, well, killing the Elder and such. Yeah. Anyway. Kinda need that. <clears throat> And yeah, we can just go back to Minecraft for a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm almost done with the big machine uh, that I've been designing to basically make just about everything you can make from cobblestone generators and create stuff. Which from, well, from just cobblestone and uh, create stuff on its own. Uh, yeah, and once that design is done, I can just remake it on the... <clears throat> on the stream world with the schematic cannon that it is going to take a hell of a lot of materials to make. Oh dear. Hmm. Might be better if I cut it into separate pieces 
and then just put those in place one by one once you generate it once the generator for the materials that it will be needed to make them <laughs> has been completed so that I put down like the a the andesite alloy generator first <clears throat> but yeah, we'll see how that goes with that we're now <laughs> running back again <laughs> in Valheim <laughs> Okay. Oh dear. And the more I look at this and the more I start to like it since Again, once you start building here, flattening out some areas, you destroy spawn points and you block them out with torches and all and workbenches. So again, I really like this island. I might actually make a pit stop at the spawn and get the Ike Tears power since we're running so freaking much. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, when we both explore, it's better we both probably use the same thing. But when we do want to do a dungeon or a boss, then we might uh, shift around. Yeah. Probably put down a portal as close to the spawn as possible, just to make it easier to get stuff. Yeah, as annoying as this gorge is, it is quite an impressive feature to spawn in on. Would a gorge even be the correct term? Wait, wait yeah. what? Uh, just the, the deep river valley or whatever it, you would call it here. Yeah, it, it is impressive to spawn nearby and see. Until you realize you need to cross it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, just recover a bit. It's 20, 30, there we go. <laughs> Standing on a stone to, to recover a bit. Yep, yep, come on, don't just slip off. <clears throat> uh, anyways, yeah. Um... Tomorrow we'll be taking the day off, since we've been streaming for most of the week. We're, I think we, yeah, we have, <laughs> we have done plenty of streams already for this week, so we deserve at least one, uh, one intentional day off, and not just a day off because of work and such. And yeah, yeah. Sunday we'll have a showcase Sunday again. I have two of the games ready. Uh, I'll double check if we'll do some, uh, if we backtrack a bit to cover some of the physical copy games that I have or not. And if not, we'll continue down C. There we go. Take this. Take that. Are you going to get lippy? Uh, Ike Tear is Ike Tear is giving Ike Tear is giving me the silent treatment. Yes. Actually, no. I, it's when you it's when you hang up their heads uh, in your base and such that they get lippy with you. Yeah, and we will do that. Yeah. Actually, we and can also, use that to mark uh, our our real our main base. To just have Ike Tear's head hanging from the front door. Like a Stormstag hold? That actually would work. Yeah, that's a work in progress. So the portals that go to the main home will call your name Stormstag. So I don't know if Stormstag hold will all fit. Also, I named the portal. Explorer? No, no, Explore. Okay. Almost there. With a capital E at the start. Just getting a bit of an idea of something to possibly try is to fence around one of the boar stones. So, yeah, they don't, they can't wander off or anything. I'm, I'm up for that. 
We just need to destroy the workbenches once we build the wall around it. <laughs> yeah, so they can spawn, and there we go. All right, I'm coming over. Don't panic. Let's see. dump some of this stuff off. More than plenty of stone. That, Hello. that, there, 20 troll hides, there would be even more here, I'll put those together, and the boar scraps as well, and we can keep hide stuff in one place, woods, I have three extra of fine wood, Those we could we could make another charcoal uh, kiln. Uh, could be a good idea. Did I completely overlooked this. No the seeds are outside. Uh, dandelions are one of these, specifically this one. And resin is up here. I'm not upon a single acorn on my map, and here we'll be finding several on yours. And that's supposed to be rare. Yeah, lucky, I guess. Real lucky, I say. The carrots are ready to be picked. Yeah, actually, re replanted to make more carrot seeds, since we really need the farm going. And I... Yeah, fix the fence so you have more to cultivate, so we can afford to make a bigger farm. Actually, oh, sorry. is it cultivated here? I found out here? that if you just hold E, you don't need to click it every time. You can just hold You didn't know? Over. Nope. <laughs> but, but okay, now I debate myself if I ever knows. told you that or not. Might be something I might have forgotten to tell you. Maybe. And you missed the seed. A few seeds. Okay. Uh, uh, more than plenty of room here. Cultivator is next to the forge. <laughs> if you had enough stuff to repair on here, you could probably just make it a whole, half a, a cacophony of a symphony. You most there. likely can. Stutter. Okay. Let's set the day. So I can actually see where everything is being planted. Is there any activity on Discord or something? Just, uh... Oh, I, I need more food, I see here. I almost tempted for us to bring the old key from the other map, just so we can bloody make the longboat. Uh, we'd first have to get enough iron, though. Yeah, but at least the island we found brings us somewhere closer to a crypt we can open and get the iron to make all the nails. First off, cultivate all of this area. Okay, then we start with seeds, or seed plants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one is probably a bit too close to that fence, but I will. And then the plants themselves.
Might remove the berry bush since it, it is just one and it can get a bit in the way. Yeah, that one you can sacrifice. But those with uh, more should be left alone. Yeah. Go. Continue planting the turnips. Actually, capturing a boar stone would also just be good for normally getting boar meat without needing to tame them. Yeah. Actually, yeah. At least until the UBC, some one or two stars. Yeah. So I think that is enough turnips for now. Still have 23 left, so let the rest be onions. Yeah, we may not be able to use the onions yet, but might as well get a supply of them early on. Yeah. So once we can, we can make them instantly. Mm. And also, as long as they, they are not red, they maybe may grow slower, but they will not die. Okay. Here we go, still some seeds left. There, okay, yeah, this... The, we will do some of this for me off stream, but as long as we can, long we can do this good, as he has done now, we should hopefully be golden. Uh, hmm. Sh should I bring... Uh, leave or bring the... Uh, the fine wood, uh, ten fine wood I have on me? Uh, we can do bring it as security. And so... Alright. Where are they? There. there you go. I, I added some notes to the cartography table. Okay, we'll do the same and record from it. There. There. Okay. Uh, furniture. There. Okay, it's facing the correct way. Uh. <laughs> And forever, oh, they dear. will be staring into one thing they fear. <coughs> a bit more resin for that. There. Okay. Yep, you already did. Then I'll just put this one here. Okay. Uh, so I'll just grab all the fine wood that we have just in case it <laughs> gets a tendency of disappearing again. It's a uh, certain course, eyes, fine woods. Cultivator can be left here. Yeah, we should not take the cultivator with travels. Uh, food, wood, backup foods, carrots, I'll leave here as well, actually. Carrots soup is good, I believe. Yeah, if you can get good amount of carrot soup, it could replace the berry yam. Okay, mushrooms need meat. Uh, we have some mushrooms. Carrots, berries. Mm. Actually, let's just make jam out of these. I like it. I learned I can do this with a hard stone. Uh, what with the hard stone? Or hard? I have it lowered down to the ground. Okay, like that. 
Yeah, and I'm a bit with a button I can pre-room it. So it doesn't need to snap to anything. Since it is a bit oddly shaped. Also it makes it less tall, so it's easier to get to the cauldron and all. Okay. I got some basic wood with me. I've got some Great Wolf eyes with me. Mistake. Okay, here we go again. <clears throat> We've got about 20 minutes left. Hopefully we'll find something of use. Yeah, and let's see here. If you actually, if you can follow me, I'm going to show you something. And you can see what I can basically show you why I feel like this could be a good island. As you can see, this is not too much of a hill. The, this is easily flattened down. Okay. But that is if we make it into a base. Okay, should we leave the portal here? Or... Uh, let's one? bring it... Uh, let's bring it out. I, I have marked this for... As a... Island base question mark. Okay. Seven. So we can find this again somewhat easily. Okay, we have the materials for two portals then. Mm, that would, mm, wouldn't be too useful since we can put up one and connect it, but the other one won't be able to be connected. Also, let's just top this thing off. There. There and there. Okay. Another sub par swamp over there. Let's see if the rest of the island has anything of value to offer. It's potentially a bit of mountain there, but hmm. yeah. I really like this island. But again. It'd be nice if the island is at least decently close to some good resources. Yeah. Like, sure, we can transport a lot of metal on boats, especially longboat, but... People prefer not having to spend an entire day doing it. Okay, turning right here. There's a bit of land to the left that is currently unloaded. We're, the trees aren't loaded at least, so we can't see uh, that, but I'm presuming it's more black forest. Uh, we've been on this island before, just on the other side. Yeah, but the, the area beyond this bit of black forest isn't loading the trees, so I can't see if it's more black forest or meadows or whatever. And I think that's a burial chamber here next to us. Yes, it stone. is. Okay, marking. Bit of a crude location, but it will be close enough to find. Okay, we've got the wind with us fully. I'm pretty sure if we if we were in a long boat at the moment, we'd be going twice as fast, or at least it feels twice as fast. Twice or thrice. There's probably some people who have run tests to see specifically how much faster they are. Let's say this. This speed is the longbow's rowing speed. Okay. So we that should probably imagine. give you a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so even if you don't have wind, you at least can row the longboat and it's not... A snail pace like with this one. Yeah. Oh, oh, we missed a rock there. By a centimeter. Is that a troll cave there? It looks like a troll cave. I think so. Oh, and swamp. Uh, okay, shall we? Shall we dock here? Next to a troll cave. And uh, no one's home. Until it pops out and throws this boat 
to the next island over. Speaking of, uh, no islands in Point taken. Let's see. I see a rune stone. I see one of those spawning areas with camp, uh, Frogger camps or whatever. Yeah, do, do look, keep a lookout for stone structures uh, in there for... Again, if we find a stone structure there with a vague visor that tell us where the bone mass is, again, that that's likely where we want to make our first main base, or at least that direction. I can see something cloaked in stone uh, mist. Oh, another rune stone? All right. Tiny little bit of black forest. Oh. Is that a black forest tower or a okay, swamp tower? Yeah, black forest tower. Judging by the tree next to it. And I think I glimpsed the crypt. Can't be certain. I. Oh, wait, wait, we need a walker. That's a stone structure we need. That might be a stone structure we need. So let's park here. And. Quickly investigate that ruin for again. Surprisingly, the, just the information about bone mass will be damn valuable for us. I still think this is uh, black forest, especially because the great war is walking up. Oh, not I did not not mean this tower. Oh, oh, there's a crypt here. Okay, don't forget the market. Okay, let's see, is anything going away? Two crypts! There we go, 55 health. <laughs> and immediately things turn dark and dreary. I'm gonna mock this crypt and the other crypt. And of course, it destroys the light, the little bugger. And there's a hut here. It was always good for a little resting spots. Oh, oh. what the? Okay, abomination. Helion, say hello to Abe. <laughs> That's Abe I talked to you about, and don't use the hammer, use the axe! Yeah, also let me just do that thing as quick. Uh, need a good fighting spot. I'll, I'll go to the tower. Yeah, we may need stronger weapons for... Only slash damage you take normal damage from. So sword and axe is needed. It's going after you. And that's poison. He's not. He's... No, the blobs that I'm dealing with at the moment. <laughs> there we go. Wait, where did... Where did it go? He, he ran off. It, they, they are a bit right. weird sometime. Here it comes again. Now, I think it won't leave the, uh, the biome. Oh, they can't leave the biome. They just... Something with the AI messes up sometimes. Well, time to poke it. It does not like getting Facebook poked. Okay. Time to try and block this bastard. Blocked, but not countered. Ow. Is that coming? Where did skeleton come from? Get the dog up or something. Oh. Also, good news. Yeah. We can make new armor from him. Okay, root armor. But will that solve the root of our problem and also oozer? Uh oh. Elite Roger. Oozer does, it, it divides. Skeleton gone, and Draugr gone. 
Yeah, and don't throw away the ooze thing if we need it. Uh, yeah, I have it still. Good, good. Now, let's see. Gonna walk the other crypt. I'm going to do something here that will be useful for us later. Okay, Azra has gone online. So, since we have materials for two portals, uh, need a bit of a roof here. Workbench. There. Put this up here. Take you. Reposition you. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I'm going to put up a portal up here, so we can go. We don't have to go running back here later. Uh, might be, might be. Oh no, my the, the crypts might be too short for. Yeah, the animation might reach them there on top of the crypt. Though, I worry that Abe might destroy this. Uh, I just realized there's no floor in there. Yeah, going to fill that in. There. Now just repair the rest. Oh yeah, now I see why we we soon to soon end the stream. Okay. And then we just build up a bit of a roof over it. Oh, we we go way way away from El the Elder. Okay, we can use this one to go back now, but we can. Okay, danger music for a moment. Uh, we can also just rename name this one Crypts and return to it with a different portal. Yeah, that way once we kill the, yeah, you know. The elder. elder, then we can just return here and hopefully get some metal and uh, information. Would be nice to at least find the damn bone mass. So, yeah, okay, you go over there, prepare a portal for this one, and I rename it. Uh, no, we, we. Actually, I can rename this one. We have two over here. So I'll rename the, the trader one to Crypts. Uh, All right. Okay. I drop off some stuff as well. Most of them here. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Crypts. Good on S. Roots. Resistance versus Pierce, weak versus fire, improved archery. Okay, so it, there's, an, there's an archery set finally. Oh yeah. And it it is it is weak to fire. However, the chest piece is basically m m mosquito proof west. Well, almost mosquito proof. Uh, let's see. I'll put that in here for the moment. Not those stupid berries. The resin goes here. And where were the trophies? Here. Though I don't think we need this many <laughs> Raid Dwarf heads. Uh, let's see. Wood. Stack that. Keep that. And yeah, that's already everything put away then. Uh, repair everything. And I don't think we'll... I don't think there's much else we can do in the last five minutes. So, let's see. That, uh, root mask. Root versus fire. And it helps you focus your boat. Okay, 15 for each. Uh, let's see, where do you... I'm gonna store it if I have some on me. Roll it, root leggings. Yep. Okay, only a small movement speed. 
and uh, okay, yeah, that that would be really useful for dealing with the stupid mosquitoes. Okay. Oh, the f stupid thing! They, I forget this. These things take fine wood as well, which is definitely not what we want. Yeah, n try to not carry fine wood when you go to the kiln. Okay. Any more metals that we can stick in. The black metal requires the improved smelter, right? Yeah, the blast furnace. Okay. Let's see. Bronze head arrows, iron head arrows, silver arrows. Okay, 32 piers compared to mm, 27 from flint heads. Now you might as well be making flint heads, despite uh, yeah, having to scour around for those, since they deal just about as much damage. Yeah, fire arrows and flint uh, head arrows will be good to do. Wait. Wait, Helian. We can make obsidian arrows. Uh, let's see. We have obsidian. Yep, and we have plenty of it. Almost a uh, Let's see. Uh, let's see. Fifty-two. We also that have is some... a worthwhile upgrade. That is a worthwhile upgrade. Yeah, and what do we need for the poison? Uh, okay, let's not do poison arrows yet. Yet. So let's keep to to obsidian arrows for now. Let's see. Which is pots and pans? No. We can also block. do needle arrows, I think. Or I think we have some mosquito noses. Yes, we do not many, though. So... It will be obsidian arrows when we fight the boss. Yeah. And we should... We, we'll, that's yes. my own inventory. Uh, let's see. If we can make... If we can get a few tin out of this which I don't think there's a single tin in it at the moment. We can make another upgrade for the normal workbench. And then we can make obsidian arrows. Let's pick next lock saddle. Oh, 15 black metal. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, not at all. Bone, bone tower shield. Okay. Yeah, th that one is probably good early game to... I think it could be a good decoration. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we could probably hang up some shields for decor. <laughs> yeah, just like Vikings. Hmm. Let's see. Ten bone fragments, three skeletons. I, I, want, to, I want to try out... Uh, oh, we have enough of that. I want to try out a tower shield. Since you, you said there was something different with them. Yeah, that when enemy when enemies hit your tower shield, they bounce away more than with the regular than the regular shield. Okay. Which basically creates breathing room. So you so if too many enemies try to swarm you, you bounce them away. Okay. Uh, However, that can be kind of annoying since, uh, well, if you have a hammer, you also bash them away that way too. Do it can, do, in multiplayer, I guess that can be useful since yeah, you bounce the them. enemies between each other. Okay, let me grab this thing for a moment <clears throat> and plant some trees outside. <clears throat> oh, visitor. Okay, I'll just leave those to fight amongst themselves for a moment whilst I go plant these. There we go. The pines. And now the oaks. And there we go. And, and that just destroyed one of the oak sounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, careful fighting there, that's where they're planted. Yeah, I was thinking that. Mm, okay. I don't wanna... Should we, should you and me play a little bit of stream tomorrow? Yeah, we can explore, uh, maybe upgrade some stuff, 
definitely smelt the, <laughs> smelt the uh, tin here. So we can, yeah, make the upgrades. Yeah, the, how strong are bronze arrows? You know, they're not enough to be a difference from the flints. Only five extra damage, I think. Let's see. Extreme oh, hammer. Well. 27 to... Uh, 32. So yeah, only five more damage. <laughs> Completely uh, not worth what... it, I'd say. Uh, one bronze for 20... Okay, that's not too expensive, but yeah. Oh, we need to upgrade for that. Wait. Hmm. Wait, iron put it two? Okay, obsidian is stronger than bronze and iron arrows. Okay, so yeah. Just give to obsidian arrows or so poison or frost arrows, folks. For obsidian is only used for some workbenches, then otherwise just just used for ammo. Otherwise. And I, th okay, we are a bit. If we need seven more flint and one more boar scrap to make one of the upgrades for the workbench, the uh, leather tanning and the tanning station. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. But yeah, we can get that off stream. So yeah, before the next time we can stream this or Minecraft, I should finish up the machine design, cut it into pieces. Uh, cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. <laughs> That's immediately where my brain went. And yeah, just get some upgrades, some exploration done, and maybe find a new base a location. Hmm. Okay. Uh, time to log off then. Yeah, I'm logging out. Yeah, taking your fart cloud of frost with you. And yeah, heading over here. Quit the game. But as we, yeah, as usual, before we actually stop the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. So once again to Twitch, once again, make sure that the site is muted. And once again, change, well, actually start the screen share this time because I didn't need the screen share when I'm, we're playing the same game. And let's see. Uh, Reef the Leaf is streaming Pokemon Scarlet slash Violet. Azra is... That's still on chatting at the moment. Let's see, does she have... Uh, okay, the great British meme stream. I'm guessing that she's doing a React stream or something. Uh, Cyber Delish is again streaming Digimon World. And in a similar vein, the Digital Hazard is streaming Digimon World Redigitize Decode. Okay, that's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> um, there is that Beelzemon. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, next up, Derpy Do with Valheim. Uh, WBPL76 is doing a food stream, apparently. Okay. We've already raided Touch Scaly Tail today, so I should uh, say we should do someone else. Uh, Halloween4545 is streaming Dead Estate. Uh, Smoops Other Nonsense is streaming Dor Dorf Dorfromatic. Oh. Yeah, I mean, though from my day, I I seen that around, but I'm a bit unsure about that one. I'm a bit of okay, a bit civilization ish or something, or like a uh, Catan. Oh or yeah, something? The, kind of. You need to preferably match the pieces with each other. Okay. Next up, we have Karenai, who is streaming. Fire Emblem and Gates, and you still cannot convince me at all that that does not sound like a, a dating sim version of Fire Emblem. Um, a lot of the other Fire Emblem are, have basically a weird dating simulator in them. Yeah, and the fact that they're doing something with rings now makes me not even less convinced that it's not just a dating simulator with the military tactics <laughs> game attached to it. Yeah, and... I like the game, though. Once I've YouTube pointed out that some of them almost work as a breeding simulator when you need want to have the two couples to have the best offspring. And once I realized that, I felt like, oh, 
That does not no. really sound like Fire Emblem to me because games don't take that long that you can start a, 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 a eugenics program. The, at least uh, as far as you, last I heard. You, you only do, able to do that one generation if I said I only have one child, but still you want two characters to have one child with the best benefits. And uh, when I read... I was doing that, but when I heard that spoken out loud from a YouTuber, then it clicked to me and realized, oh. And it sounded felt very weird. Okay. And last but not least, of the well, not massive streamers, we have Kikoskia, who is streaming Pokemon Emerald. So, any of those sound interesting? Um... Let's see. Derpy too, perhaps? Uh, yeah, Derpy going from one from one tenth. Oh, they're, they're crossing the ocean. <laughs> but they have a long boat. Okay, no, yeah. that's not a long boat. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the Carve or something. They are it? being very brave. No, it's just regular dumb. rain, but at night it's still a danger. Yeah. Uh, let's go give them a support rate then. Yeah. <laughs> totally not sinking them ourselves. Uh, but before we do that, of course, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Dirk Hero. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, no cookie this time, so hopefully they're finally working on their bloody homework. <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. Three months. Oh, bloody heck. That's Tomorrow we have our day off. Then showcase Sunday. And... I'm pretty. Sh I I have I have a very very strong feeling that one of the games I have lined up we've already shown off, but I that I just forgot to tag it on the list or something as having been shown. But uh, I'll enjoy playing it all. Yeah, we playing it for a bit all the same because it is a very 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 fun game. <laughs> uh, you have to see about that uh, later. Which game do that is? Uh, well, we, we, oh. I just realized in the title I forgot the V of Valheim, or I accidentally typed over it or something. Uh, but yeah, it, it, you won't. We, the, there will be no not much need to wait. Uh, starting to sound like freaking Porky Pig here. Uh, it'll be the first game we'll actually do, <laughs> unless we do another. You know, we backtrack to B for a bit. <coughs> so yeah, let's start up the raids and uh, yeah. Until Sunday. <laughs> uh, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for sea serpents. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And Abe. <laughs> <laughs>